We have to call. They jump away for the John Smith's uh, Summer Cup handicap chase. Listed race over three and a quarter miles and 80,000 pounds of prize money. And on the run to the first of the 20, all crossing it safely enough, it seems, with uh, showing up ahead, what a warrior, Tony Starr. Al Coe, the race favorite in the green with the white sleeves, black cap over to the inside as they now come to their first open ditch. And Al Coe made a real mess of that and has lost the rider. Alco is out of the race, blundered away Jamie Moore at fence at number two, barely took off. As they now head on towards the third, it is Tony Starr who leads up. Tony Starr to What a Warrior with the Irish Raider, you're busy, not too far behind them. Gasline Boy in a purple colour jacket is next with Solstice Sun. They're being chased through by Dropout Joe in orange as they lift off at the fourth. This will be their final fence in two further circuits of the race course, all over it safely enough. Down past the stands they come. In behind Solstice Sun is San Rock up towards the outside. Grandad's horses with those to the rails. Then Bally Khan from Cat Co. Danny Mix standing ovation. Pasha de Polder is cutting every corner over towards the inside. Further back then to Bally Nagore. Last year's winner, Shul Royale. Green and white colours with an orange cap. Buried away down along the rails. In advance of the popular Menorah, who at the moment only has two behind. Topwood and on the bridge is the back marker as they come to the first fence going down the far side. All landing safely out over that. There would be around about 15 to 20 lengths covering first to last. And it is Tony Starr who leads the field under Trevor Whelan, who's picked up this spare ride very late on. Showing ahead of your busy and Katie Walsh and what a warrior over towards that one's inside, leapt in third. And once again, the field all landing safely, although Danny Mix was quite untidy at the back end of the field and lost a couple of places there as they now are eyeing up the seventh and Tony Starr getting an uncontested lead and takes that fence by a good four lengths. Gasline boy, not a great jump that time. So they're now making the uphill climb towards the end of the far side for the first time. And it is Tony Starr to You're Busy in second, Water Warrior racing in third. Dropout Joe towards the outside of Gasline Boy. They're being chased by Grandad's horse in the black and yellow jacket over towards the inside. At the back end of the field, Danny Mix is being pulled up following that earlier blunder. Danny Mix is out of the race as they take the last fence going down the side. All over it safely on the bridge remains at the tail end of the field with Topwood, Shul Royale and Menorah are also right towards the rear. Left-handed they come, and shortly they'd have completed a circuit in the John Smith's uh, Summer Cup, where minus two of them, Al Coe, who departed very early on, and Danny Mix, who was pulled up sometime after making a bad blunder going down the far side. It is Tony Starr who brings them in line for home once again, still over a circuit to go, of course, with the advantage, and Tony Starr is a length ahead over. You're busy up to the outside in second. Back in third is Water Warrior, who's uh, being chased a few lengths back by uh, Dropout Joe, then Gasline Boy from Sam Rock and Solstice Sun, Grandad's horse and Bally Khan in green colours is following as they cross another of the open ditches. And uh, they're being followed through by Pasha de Polder over to the inside of Catco. Menorah, two-tone blue colours, is towards the outside of horses, but travelling nicely enough at this stage under Richard Johnson as they cross another. Then follows Topwood, who's right towards the rear end of the field with Bally Nagore and in rear Shul Royale. And at the back mark of the touchdown once again was on the bridge as they now come to the fence, which will be the last next time. And Tony Starr leapt it some seven lengths clear. He has a growing lead. All safely out over that one. They have a circuit left to go in the feature the John Smith's Summer Cup of 2016 hunting this valuable pot it is Tony Starr taking them out onto the final circuit now 10 lengths ahead from in second place you're busy then what a warrior over to the inside of dropout Joe Gasline boy is following those and has never been too far away Sam Rock and Bally Khan are next with Catco making progress over towards the inside as they now come to the 13th fence Tony Starr was lucky not to collide with a loose horse there who was running in the opposite direction. On crossing this fence, the horse doesn't appear to have done a great deal of harm to those in behind either, thankfully. Hopefully he gets caught shortly. They race on now towards the next fence. This is the seventh from home coming up in the John Smith's Summer Cup, and it is Tony Starr who still shows the way, and he's flying out over his fences as well. Cat Co. was quite untidy that time. In second place on touching down, it was your busy. Then drop out Joe from What a Warrior who now gets a shake 
of the rain. San Rock is following, and then Gasline Boy from Bally Khan standing ovation as they cross the next one going down the side. A big jump out wider there from Menorah, who's making ground now under Richard Johnson as they head on up the hill towards the highest point of the race course. They have five fences left to cross. Bally Nagore is also going to be played late with Pasha de Polder following in the black, white, and red. Then Solstice Sun from Top Wood, and Catco is back in behind those, I think being eased off as well. Shaw Royale is struggling as they now come to five out. Tony Starr, they're beginning to get closer to him. He led it by two lengths there to drop out Joe in second. Then San Rock from along the inside. You're busy. Menorah is up into fifth place. Then Bally Khan from along the inside. Gasline Boy. Pasha de Polder, another one who's making ground. Standing ovation booted along to the outside, but he's keeping up nicely. As they make the final turn, they've got four more fences left to take and a half mile to go. Tony Starr now having pressure applied. Drop out Joe in the orange jacket. Deeper still, San Rock. One from the left is Menorah as they came up and over the fourth from home. Bally Khan in green colours is also competitive. Bally Nagore is staying on as they head now towards the final open ditch. The third from home, it's drop out Joe in front to Bally Khan. Bally Nagore, gas line boy over to the inside. Menorah a little sketchy out wider. San Rock a bad blunder but looks held now. Pasha de Polder trying hard to pick up. They race towards the second fence from home. It is Bally Nagore now coming through to press drop out Joe. Pasha de Polder is up in behind those takes that in a dispute of third with Gasline Boy following. Then Menorah, who the weight now appears to be anchoring him. Bally Khan is following these, but it's Bally Nagore and Dropout Joe who are fighting it out on the approach to the 20th and final fence. They take off and land together. Big jump the far side from Dropout Joe has a narrow advantage. Bally Nagore pressing all the way home. Five lengths away in third is Pasha de Polder, but they're going for the line. It's Dropout Joe in the hands of Graham Waters who wins the Summer Cup. For second place, Bally Nagore, Pasha de Polder in third, then Gasline Boy. Menorah went down with all guns blazing further back to Bally Khan and a gap to Solstice Sun.